and welcome back to my channel. Today's project is part of our sparkling spring video hub that is based on a mood board. And I'm having my color choices based on it. So for my background I'm starting out with a very soft layer of Naples yellow. So as this project is part of a video hub, there are some fabulous sponsors who are giving away great prizes. So check out the description box below to find all info and you can find a link to the next person in the hub in the description box too or at the end of the video. I'm just going to put some color on the opposite side too, so I can balance everything out. While my background is drying, I'm gonna work on my focal image and I'm choosing this gorgeous flower from the set Creative Chaos by Visible Image, who is one of our fabulous sponsors. Since I'm stamping on texturized watercolor paper, I'm using a stamping tool because I don't want to press too hard on my stamp due to the fine lines, but I want to get into all of the crevices of my paper, so it's handy to be able to stamp it twice. I've chosen to go for a soft purple to color in my flower and I took out my dusky purple ink tense pencil. To keep the color as soft as possible, I'm building up the color in different layers.
By picking up the pigments directly from my pencil, I am able to get some really intense shading. I need something to ground my flowers, so I'm going to color some cambric, which is a somewhat stronger bandage. For my word, I took out the set Random Art of Kindness and it has many words that go perfect with my flower, but since my mood board is all about spring, I'm going for the word Hope. There's also a butterfly in the mood board and Visible Image has this gorgeous set with butterflies. But since I find that I don't have enough room left, I'm going for this word transform. And I'm not going to use it as it is, but I'm going to turn it around and only use part of it to add some texture to my tag. When my cambric was dry, I took out my sewing machine and I first started out by gluing down a small strip of cambric, then I glued down my flower and then I adhered a second piece of cambric before putting it all through my sewing machine. Now everything is glued down, I can give my flower a little bit of shading. I want to add a tiny bit of black where my cambric is, so I'm going to ink up some of the splatters from this Art Rebel set. And only now I realized that I should have stamped my flower onto my background too, as it has those tiny spots underneath. Now since my flower is cut out of 300 GSM watercolor paper and it is quite thick, I'm going to ink up my spots, but I'm not using a clear block to stamp them, but my fingers. That way I can bend my stamp over the thick layer my flower is giving me.
We also have some sparkle going on in the mood board and I've chosen that one tiny dot that is hidden deep inside between the petals of my flower to get some metal foil. So I'm just laying down some glue onto it and once this becomes clear I can go and add the foil. <music> 